it's, uh, I mean, I can't even tell you the journey they've been through, the journey this team has been through, uh, simply amazing. And I, I know what that feeling is like to hoist that championship, to be a part of something special. It doesn't happen very often. And the way they've been able to endure their suits and season, their life and their situation has been an amazing example for everyone. You also know what it's like to be part of an offensive line that dominates and says, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to run the ball and we're going to wear them down. And I saw your eyes light up when Paul was interviewing the offensive lineman about what that feels to know you're going to, it's going to be all on you. And that line came through today. If you have a tough, focused offensive line, you have a tough, focused football team. And that's just the way the game is. And that group of guys and that team really exemplified that because they were asked, the second half of this game to put the game in their hands and dominate the line of scrimmage. And they did exactly that. And you can't say enough of those two freshman running backs. The way they stepped up as well. The whole team is really inspiring to watch and truly a special season. Well, the line is certainly a grizzled group, literally, for about the Absolutely. next four, 24 hours. But as you mentioned, the running backs are young pups, and one of them is standing by down on the field with Paul. Runs for 140 yards and a touchdown. Let's backtrack. Last year you were in high school. If someone told you this was possible, what would your response be? I wouldn't have to believe. I wouldn't have to believe because we just came so close together last night. We just put it in our heart that we're gonna come out and we're gonna put out everything on the line. So that we did. What made this running game so special today? You guys pounded the ball throughout the entire game. Persevered. Put up huge numbers in the game. Why was the running game so effective? I don't know. Credit goes to our offensive line. Because they got to push up front. They told me to just get behind them. And I used, um, I used that on the great big yards. Cedric, congratulations. Valdosta Nation, you have this guy for another three years. So the running game should be intact next year as they try to defend this championship and win it for a fourth time, and there are the emotions. Chris Cochran and his son, Caden Cochran, enjoying the championship and watching all the hard work that their son and that family has put in to his football career pay off with this moment. Yeah, the perseverance, uh, personally and as a team, uh, the mental toughness they displayed and their team displayed, and you look at this game, too, within the game, what it really came down to. You look at the turnover, six by Winston-Salem State, and then the ability of the Blazers to control the line of scrimmage and not turn the ball over once. But Caden Cochran did the quarterback position, taking care of the football, being a leader out there, uh, uh, truly outstanding. And defensively, they really stood up and shut down in the red zone this outstanding explosive offense of the Rams. So Title Town gets another trophy to put in the case. Valdosta wins the third Division II National Championship in school history. The final score here from Raleigh Municipal Stadium in Florence, Alabama is 35 to 7. Thank you very much for watching our trophy presentation on ESPN3.com of the Division II National Championship football game. And once again, congratulations to Valdosta State. They win the national championship for the third time in school history, 35-7. to So long from Florence.